The Mountain Dew Arca Series heads from one fast racetrack to the next as we go from Daytona to the Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan for the running of the Dr. Pepper 150. Julius Anderson in the 77 has won the pole for today's race. He was outside second is the 20 of Jake West. Then third is Colin Teague, fourth is Edwin Mendez, and Christian Vargas on top of the top five of the 48 car. In sixth, it's Kashamrich in the 22. Seventh place, we have Joe Sandrovich. Eighth is second in points, Zach Winkle. In ninth, it's Salas Orta, and Jose Mills runs out the top 10 in the 98 car. For the rest of the field, there's James Ellison, who's outside, it's Trey Rain in the 38. Then we have Mathis Wells, who's outside, Stephen Thompson. Then there's Trey Wright, who's inside, Derek Bouchard, with Riley Spurley Tube and Zachary DeLello. Then there's Landon Lyons and Danny Bright. Behind them, Charlie Davenport and Benny Watson. Then we have Matteo Montoya and Sebastian Kukulon with Keegan Thompson and Sky Commons. Then we have Tyler Fink and Nolan Rempel with Jaden Jacobs and Marshall Burrell. Then points there, Nicholas Valdez, Luke Jones, who's outside with Juan Garcia and Evan Hunter. Then Ryan Brommer and Roger Ray, Greg Graff and Jason Larker, Will Parrish and Mark Owens, and 41st is the two of Luke Rainey. There's our 41 car field for the Dr. Pepper 150 at Michigan. Let's go on track sign. Fire the engines up for racing in Brooklyn. Drivers, start your engines. All 41 cars rolling off the starting grid here in Michigan to go racing once again at a fast race track in the Mountain Dew Arca Series. Only two drivers come in within a race of the points lead. Nicholas Valdez leads Zach Winkle by about 30 points. They are over 200 points out of third on back. So right now it's a two-man race for the championship. However, it's race 16, 23 races. If something bad happens, these next few races to the front two and they finish poorly. Third on back can try and close in. The last race was Daytona. High bank, fast speedway. This racetrack fast. But it's not as banks. Will we see some craziness like we saw in Daytona? Or will it be clean racing to the end? 12 laps to decide it. Anderson and West are on the front row. For the Dr. Pepper 150 pace car is in. Car number 77 lead the field to the green flag. Down to the restart zone. We're racing in Michigan. Alrighty, some three wide, but Jake West leads lap one by a bumper. Colin Teague, the zero, who started third, did not get a good jump. He's on the outside, third in the outside lane now, as Vargas looks three wide for the top spot on turn one. Christian Vargas down low, puts Julius Sanders up top three wide. The 77 might get the wall. He's in off turn two. Few cars get the wall, but they keep it straight for now. Down the back stretch. Vargas inching ahead. Sandrovich, three wide. Joe Sandrovich is inside the top five in points. He's going to want a good point stand for that 25 and 46 ball back in the points. San George going to get five points for it. Come down the front stretch or Willie. Order wants to get them as well. Ten laps remain in Michigan. Joe Sandrovich leads for five bonus points. James Ellison pushing order to the lead in turn number one. And now Derek Bouchard out of line. The 23 car. Look at this pack of three wide. Bouchard wants to lead. Anderson up towards the wall. They're four wide. Julius Anderson going to get into the wall hard. Off the court. Round they're going to go. Jake West to the inside. Anderson bounces again. Richardson and Valdez is involved. The 46. Keegan Thompson gets some others. Caution flag is in the air. There's a dance to the 46 car. Racing back around. Here comes Benny Watson on Zachary DeLello. Racing back to the start finish line to lead the yellow. Watson or DeLello. Benny Watson leads. Caution flag is out for the first time today. Massive crash on the back stretch. The damage to the 22. The 46 will come down here with the 10, and Nicholas Valdez can have a bad points day. There's Jake West, Keegan Thompson, Owens may be involved here. There are three wide under DL. Juan Garcia got some damage. Kukul on the five has some pretty good damage. Trey Wright, some side damage right there. So our first yellow flag of the day comes out. Massive crash down the back stretch. Benny Watson has the lead, but let's see the reason for a caution flag. Points here, Nicholas Valdez done 
in Michigan. Three wide can work here. Michigan four wide is an absolute death sentence. It'll never work here. And you see they got four wide. Julius Harrison up towards the wall. He's going to impact it hard off the corner because Sean Merchant to his inside will come down. Get that 22 to the wall. They go up. Had Jake West spun around by the 90 and the 8. So the 22 is going to get bounced around like a pinball right there. Harden of the 46 of Aldez. That's why he's out. Mark Owens. There's Roger Ray missing it. Nolan Rempel may have gotten to Darren Larker spins, but I think he should be fine. Well, although he did come down the pit lane. There's Jake West driving away. He's going to have some damage. That was a crazy crash for sure. I think that's Jaden Jacobs. The 37 getting bounced out behind down there towards the inside. He got some damage, but otherwise he should be fine. 37 car. As you'll see right here. At four wide. And Zach Winkle is lucky to miss it. He was right in the middle of it all. But then up ahead, Keegan Thompson got hit and actually caused a secondary crash. After missing it, Juan Garcia comes up, hits the three into the 34. They spin around. Charlie Downport then squeezes the five to the wall. Three spins around. And we're lucky Thompson did not get hit again. As that was a scary crash well up ahead of that. Back to the start finish line. Benny Watson beats the 57 in the drag race back. We'll stay on the racetrack. Benny Watson with the race lead in Michigan. Coming back around to the start finish line. It'll be five laps of racing to go once we get to the stripe. That means after the restart, a yellow flag at any point would end the race early. Nicholas Valdez, a 41st place finish. 41st place points will put him possibly out of the points after today. 22, because Sean Richardson also out. 39 cars on the lead lap. Benny Watson leads them in 66. Behind in second, Zachary Delello. Mateo Montoya, Sky Commons, and Derek Richard the front five. Tyler Fink, Orta, Mendez, Ellison, Wells, the front ten. We're back green. Look at Montoya. Big push from Sky Commons. Goes to the outside. 54 back low. Look at Derek Richard looking. Fink down low. Three wide for third. Tyler Fink, a big move in the 18 car. He wants his first win of the season. Hoop of all went to third by the time they got off turn two. And he restarted in sixth. Look at Delolo for the lead on Watson. Zachary Delolo is there. Turn number three to the inside of the 66. Coming to four to go. 57 car to the lead. Watson going to fall back outside the top three possibly. Here comes Fink, Orta, Mendez, and others down the bottom lane. Fink for the lead. Big push from the 06. Inside the 57, three to, or no, four to go. Tyler Fink, 18. Push to the front end, turn number one. But Silas Porter, the 06, looking for some room down to the bottom lane. Three wide pack further back. The car scraped the wall. So far, keeping it green. Mendez, 15 to the inside. Silas Porter, the 06. James Ellison, the 30, into the picture. Pushing Mendez to the inside. We're coming around to three to go. Time is of the essence because the yellow flag could happen at any point. Trey Rain knows that he's looking three wide bottom lane. Edwin Mendes to the lead. Here comes Trey Rain. Three wide. Joe San George with him. Three left to Rain to Michigan. This three wide is a little sketchy at this point. We could have a crash. It could end the race. Joe San George knows that. He wants it. His teammate Danny Bright with him. Down low. Joe Santrovich in the wall for Edwin Mendes. They're going to go around on the back stretch. Massive crash. Racing back around. Rainy Sandrovich right. Who gets back in front? The teammates are three wide, side by side. Sandrovich up top. Danny Bright down low. Here they come back to the checkered flag. Who will get into Michigan? The Dr. Pepper 150 with two to go is Danny Bright. The teammates will finish 1-2. As Danny Bright wins after a massive crash occurs on the back stretch. We had some hard contact. Zach Winkle, one of them involved. The 25 car out of it. How about that? Crazy ending here. Crazy crash. It'll end the race early. Danny Bright's going to win over Joe Sandroge and Silas Orta as they race their way back to the start finish line. Trey Rainey as well in fourth. And Zachary Delello round out the top five. So craziness there. That happened with two to go. We'll go see what happened very quickly. And then we'll come back at the conclusion of the Dr. Pepper 150. Racing off of the corner. This is a just a setup for disaster right here with how Tyler Fink is just ahead of these charges. He's going to get the wall off the corner. That's going to send him down into Benny Watson. Gets down to Wells. Bouchard. They go spinning. Also up ahead, they go spinning. There's Edwin Mendez. Bouchard down towards the inside. He's actually going to impact it with the rear end of that car. We have seen some hard hits happen to that inside wall before. 
Carter Friesen, back in Season 5 of the Gatorade Cup Series. We've seen flips happen here at Michigan, especially in the Mount Dark Series. We saw Josh crash flip in turns 3 and 4. So that was crazy, but it could have been a lot crazier. We're lucky it wasn't crazier. Christian Vargas did a great job saving his car coming back up. You can see how they're just stacking them up on the backstretch. We had a lot of cars involved. And Derek starts the only one to head towards the inside wall. Right there, bouncing off around they're gonna go. Bouchard hard into it. Up ahead, landing lines and some others, mixing it up. Evan Hunter, Roger Ray, and some others trying to get through it. We're racing back around the 9-9, the 9. Sandro up top, Danny Bright down low to the stripe. Danny Bright wins in Michigan. The Dr. Pepper 150 is his as he has taken the white flag. We're on the final lap in Michigan. We'll come back to the checkered flag for the driver of the 9, Danny Bright. Coming around to the checkered flag, Danny Bright will reign supreme in the Mountain Dew Arca Series once again as he'll win the Dr. Pepper 150 in Michigan over Joe Sandrovich and others. Checkered flag in the air. Danny Bright wins in the Mountain Dew Arca Series at Michigan. As he has reigned supreme here today for sure. Craziness there at the end. We saw three and four ride moments lead to some crashes. Let's go see the finish results in the point standings after a wacky race in Michigan. Here are the finish results from the Dr. Pepper 150 at the Michigan International Speedway. Two caution flags for six laps and five leads into six different drivers lean laps here today in Michigan. But in the end, Danny Bright leads the final three laps to victory lane. Driver of the nine gets it done over Joe Sandrovich in second 99 car. Gained some good points here today with Winkle and Valdez both having bad days. Third place for South Order, Trey Rennie in fourth and Zachary DeLello rounds up the top five. Then James Ellis in sixth, Luke Rand continuing his strong string of races. Started last year today, but gets up to 7th. A good point stay for him. Colin Teagan 8th, Stephen Thompson 9th, and Riley Spurly Tube with the top 10 finish there at the end. Looking down below the top 10, Julius Anderson from the pole. Ends up 16th and never led a lap for Mathis Wells. A top 15 for him. However, still searching for that first top 10 on the season. 16 races in. He has not yet scored one. He has a few races left to try and get it done in the Mountain York Series season number 3. Luke Jones, Ryan Brommer down here, and they see Benny Watson there. Five laps led for him, 32nd as he was involved in the final caution of the race. And you can see some of our points contenders finishing back here, including Zach Winkle, who ends up in the 30th position, and Nicholas Valdez, 41st. They came in the first two points. It has shifted a little bit. The drivers have closed in on their ground. Let's go see the point standings now after Michigan. 16 races in, here are the point standings, and it's only two points separating the top two as Zach Winkle closes in back to the points lead, but he's now only two points ahead of Nicholas Valdez, who falls to second, so two points separate the top two points. That's going to be fun to look at heading into these final few races of the season. Joe Sandroge trying to mount a comeback. He's 155 back in third. It is very possible for him right now. Riley Spurley to up to fourth, and Danny Bright with his win back up inside the top five in the points. They have Kushan Merchant down to 6th, Charlie Davenport 7th, Jake West 8th, Luke Rainey in 9th, and Jason Larker holds the final spot inside the top 10. Looking at the top 20, there's Mills, Thompson, Watson just below the top 10, Trey Wright, Evan Hunter as well are down there, Brimer and Burrow. And below, below the top 20, we do have a few winners as well down there. Let's look down, see Roger Ray down here 21st, Edwin Mendez 27th, looking for some ground to be made up. For James Ellison, he's made some nice progress. He was stuck down at the bottom of the points 41st for most of the season. He's up to 34th. He's going to try and look for a top 30 here to try and just make some progress. See, so Land Lines now holds the last spot in the points. As Mathis Wells had a good day, but still searching for that first top 10 on the season. He's the only driver so far without a top 10. Derek Bouchard, Land Lines, each with one apiece. So look ahead. Next race, race number 17 of the season, will be the first time we've ever gone here. We're going to the Milwaukee Mile and Wisconsin, the Camping World RV 200. I will see you guys then.